Hello students, myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in previous session, we have started multiple activity chart, travel chart and two-handed process chart. And we have already completed types of process chart in previous session. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about two more topics that is string diagram and work measurement technique after completion of work measurement technique we can calculate time study okay so in this particular lecture we are going to discuss about string diagram work measurement techniques and time study so let's start the lecture 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 number 16 that related to work measurement so first of all what is string diagram so I have added one image here so that you can directly understand the concept of string diagram. String diagram basically related to material flow. Basically it related to machining flow. Okay. So string diagram is very important because ultimately the clear picture it gives the clear picture. Okay. So now the question is what do you understand by string diagram? So it represent or it give the clear picture about the movement of material or movement of man without complicated diagram. Okay. So now the second one is objective. So it help in modifying the existing plant layout with the aim of to reduce or you can take to improve your productivity or to reduce the total distance move. Okay. So this is very important. What is the objective? What is our goal? Our goal is clear to improve productivity, to improve our profit. So it helps in modifying the existing plant layout so that you can increase your productivity. Okay. So now the third one is it also gives us the most economical or the most commonly used workstation. Okay, so now the question is what do you understand by workstation? Workstation that related to group of machines. Okay, so now this is very important. Fourth one is it reduce unnecessary movement of men, material and machine because ultimately the goal is clear. What is the goal? Goal is clear to reduce or you can take it help in modifying the existing plant layout. Okay, so string diagram that related to manpower, that related to flow of manpower, flow of machining purpose, flow of material purpose. Okay, so fifth one is it overall string diagram is very smooth and increase our productivity. Okay, it increase our profit also. So this is what string diagram. Okay, operation it generally related to operation sequences. So now move forward to another question that related to string diagram pictorial. Okay. So here you can take one example that sheet metal after completion of sheet metal purpose or sheet metal operation. Number two that is mark plus cut. Mark plus cut. After completion of mark plus cut it forwarded to another workstation or another machine that is drilling. Okay. So it take operation sequence it generally depend on operation sequences fourth one that is feeding revert and check and after that after completion of, of all the operation final step that is stock okay or storage so this is what string diagram starting from sheet plus metal or you can take sheet metal plus mark plus cut number three that is drilling fold fourth one that is folding fifth one that is revert check and stop after completion of all this matter it transferred to storage okay storage department so this is what string diagram so move forward to next one that is work measurement so the question is what do you understand by work measurement technique or work measurement okay measurement of time required to complete one job okay this is called work measurement measurement of your time okay so this is very important okay let's take one example there is one job 
and that is having three different operation. First operation that is drilling. Number two that is grinding. Number three that is uh, lapping or finishing. Okay. So after completion of this three uh, operation, you can take overall timing or you can take final timing. This is called work measurement. Okay. So the, what is the purpose? So it help to find out the standard time. Okay. Standard time of your product. Three, that is work measurement based. Okay, so based on rating, wage and incentives are defined for worker. Okay, so it generally indicate final timing. It generally read final timing and standard time also. And it can also calculate wage and incentives of your worker of your labor. Okay, so this is very important. Fourth one that is it help in rating the worker merit rating okay merit rating we can see in next session merit rating uh, it help in rating the worker so this is what work measurement work measurement generally define your completion time and based on that completion time you can also calculate standard time and based on that standard time you can rate the wages and incentives for your worker okay so this is what work measurement so move forward to next one that is work measurement techniques so the first technique that is time study number two that is work sampling third one that is analytical estimating this is very important analytical estimating okay fourth one that is pmts pmts is also very important and last one that is synthesis so there are five techniques to identify the work measurement or to calculate the work measurement time study number two that is work sampling third one that is analytical estimating pmts and synthesis pmts is very important technique okay so move forward to next slide that related to objectives of work measurement so what is the objective of work measurement so we can see that to find out or to determine the standard time first one that is standard time Second one that is to evaluate the performance of your worker. Okay. After completion of all the product, you can compare standard time and you can compare the actual time. And based on that, you can calculate the or you can evaluate the worker. You can evaluate the performance of the worker. Okay. So this is very important. Third one that is based on that evaluation wages are defined for the worker. Okay, or you can take based on that evaluation, wages are determined for the worker. Fourth one is, it help in perfect planning and control. Okay, ultimately what is our goal? Our goal is clear to find out or to increase the productivity or to increase our profit. So this is very important. It help in pre uh, preferable pro production planning and control. Or you can take perfect production planning and control. Okay, so now the fifth one is improve productivity. Okay, so these are the objectives of work measurement. Work measurement objective is very important because it ultimately find out the standard time and based on that standard time, you can compare with actual timing of the worker and after completion of this comparison, you can calculate or you can determine the wage and incentives of your worker. So this is what objectives of work measurement. So move forward to next slide that is time study techniques. So what do you understand by time study? Okay, measurement of time, measurement of time by different way. So the first one that is stopwatch. Number two that is time study forms. Third one that is time study board. And fourth one that is time recording machines. So this four techniques are very important we will see in next session these four techniques are very important stopwatch time study forms time study boards and fourth one that is time recording machine so these are the time study techniques so thank you thank you very much in this session we have completed work measurement fundamental objectives of work measurement and basic of time study okay so in next session we will discuss about 
टाइम स्टडी टेक्निक्स ओके सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच